Sure are in a fix. Seems so, surely does seem so. Do you know this man? Certainly. His daddy's place is just downriver from the child's. Hemp growers. Jack Bull. Alf Boat. Goes to home? No, no, no. It all just goes on. Some may have died, not most. What of my mother? Well, no. Well, she is watched. All the success are watched. And my father? He comes and goes. He's a union man. He ain't bothered by no one. You must know that. You must know the whole town talks about you boys out here black flagging it. Some friendliness may be lost for your kin. You been fed? Not so as you notice. I'll look into it. Go down. I don't take this down as for the Lexington Union News, so do it fine the way you do. Gladly. Dear citizens, mistakes are most common these days and deadly for it. The Federals are to hang William Lloyd and James Curtin, two fine sons of Missouri. But by a provident cut of the cards, four Federals have been dealt to me, and it is their hope that Lloyd and Curtin are not hanged as they would provide the sequel to these murders. However, if our boys are released, I will, as a gentleman, release these unfortunates. The choice is yours, citizen, so make it wisely. Signed, John Ambrose and George Clyde, commanding first of the regulars. That's good. And put a note on it that says, where you think we ain't, we are. Remember it. Who will deliver it? There are Federals all over Lexington. We could slip a man in there. We done it before. Oh, I reckon a citizen could be pressed in this service if one could be found. Well, that might be a job for citizens are cautious hereabouts. You got some better idea, Dutchie? Maybe you should volunteer yourself. Well, there is a way we could prove more things than one. If we send a prisoner, it will prove we have prisoners and also he can attest to our intentions. It seems to me he could get more quickly into town as well. And time is short. Lloyd and Curtin will be hanged right quick, I would think. It is a good idea. There's some fine touches to it. Yeah, you should speak up more, Rodale. You're not near so dumb as you let on. Oh. Now go put one of them Federals on a horse of that later. Convince them to see this deal through, Alf. We're only asking to be treated like the soldiers that we are. We shall do the same for your companions here. Do your best. Huh. What are you looking at? Jake! Oh. 
Like John says you're lettered, it's union mail. I want you to look it over, tell me if there's anything to learn. All right. Oh, it's just stuff from up north. There's no military intelligence in here. Yeah. Well, maybe you could read it to us just the same. Read us this letter, Dutchie. That's someone else's letter. Was. I want to hear you read it. I don't think I care to. Oh, is that so? Well, I think that if you think a little bit more, Dutchie, you'll think you do want to read at me. Right now, too. How do we know there might be secrets in it? Read it at us. Yeah, come on, Dutchie. <laughs> All right. This here is from Ms. Mary Williams of Bear Lake, Wisconsin. Dear sons, no word of you in so long, right past first frost of the year last. Your father is better, but his feet are still bloated and he won't walk right on them. That's the dumb blood does that. The dumb blood bloats the feet. Fire hit the old church, burned down. The new one was just ready, so no great trouble was had of it. Margaret is married since the frost of this year last. You wouldn't know it, for how could you? Her husband is Walter Maddox. He is out of the war with one arm busted at New Madrid, but it works fine enough. The dirt was turned over, and the smell and deepness gave me heart. It is just black rich. You boys know how that is. My daddy was up there. He was up there way before they hung him. He said the dirt was so rich, you could have ate it like porridge. Man, very good dirt up there. Short grow season. Yeah, it sounds like real good dirt to me. That girl Dave got sweet for is in town and still single and about. She asks of you, but I have no news since first frost of the year last. Without news, I cannot answer her. You are both missed here, your mother. Sounds like my mother. An old woman does. One mother's very much like another. Remember one thing, her boys will kill you if they can. What is it, Jake? I hear you ruminating loud on the couch, chewing in my ear, and it's keeping me from asleep. 